Okay, quick recap. This is the process of my hair shading in general. Now let's take a closer look to the full process, shall we? So, first thing as usual, I tidy up my first shadow layer. If this is the first time you've seen me paint, yes, I already have a base shadow here. It's because I always do an overall shadow of the whole character using one single layer in hard light blending mode. You can check this process on my other speed paint videos, such as the one I linked above. The main purpose here is to picture the overall correct shadow in detail. And yes, I don't just draw one simple shadow, but I will also draw some smaller shadow of hair strands. This creates more volume on the hair, and it makes it feel more detailed. Just continue to do this with the rest of the hair strand that you're going to work on. Also remember, on this tidying up process, you can also add more hair strands or change some of the hair shapes to make it look more natural. You can also utilize the base shadow to create more hair strands. Now I will start rendering the bangs. My flow always starts from the face, then getting further away to the legs. If you notice, I put a light orange color in the middle of the bangs with an airbrush. This creates a puffy type of volume to the bangs. Then, I slowly render from the bottom using a slightly darker color than the base red color. I ever explain in detail about how I choose these colors on my hair coloring tutorial. You can check it out first to understand more about this, since I won't be explaining that much in this video. You can see I added some highlight color in the bangs on the lower part and the middle part, since I was actually a little confused on what I need to paint next. In which every time I'm confused, I just try to paint anything I had in mind, then I will eventually realize what I was missing. So as a safe step, I did a proper line art for the bangs first. This makes me feel better from the previous confusion. I also always think that neat and proper line art always enhances the drawing. After done with the line art, I finally realized that I should have been painting the ambience on the lower part and only put highlight in the middle of the bangs. This makes the color feels way more balanced. If you're wondering how I choose the ambient color, it's for sure the color that I use are initially blue. But make sure to brush it lightly or use a low opacity brush so it will create a perfect color that matches with your base color. And don't worry, this works on any base color, not just red. I pretty much repeat the same process here on and forward. While making line art was the first priority to be done, before I head into the rendering and detailing. And this applies to the rest of the hair strands rendering. I 
won't be speaking much from here since it's pretty much the same concept. So please enjoy the rest of the painting process. Okay, a little bit of comment on this one. I felt that the lighting wasn't obvious enough if I see from her hair rendering so far. So I decided to add a lighter orange color to give more highlight to the hair that got direct lighting. 
And since I separated the layers for each shadow and highlights on the hair, it makes it easier for me to make major changes like this by simply adding a new layer below the mall and just paint away.
A little side note, I don't put too much detailed rendering on this bigger hair strand of her twin tail, since the amount of detail from the drawing itself is already a plus point that makes the hair looks good. That's why I really want to be able to draw better rather than just to color better. Since in my opinion, good drawings are able to increase my quality a lot despite doing bad on the rendering. <laughs>